uh, as the alarms are blaring, is that you will see off to the uh, side, there are statues that teleport into existence, blocking your way. Ah, yes. Can I put the can I put the the thing back on? Can I, can I just put it right back on and just apologize? Be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you please stop crying. Uh, do you keep the bangle in your hand? Uh, no, I can put it back on. I put it back on the head where it was. I mean, they're just statues. Do, do you want to put it back on the head? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just standing up there, right? I'm just on top of them. Yeah. What happens if I put it back on? Does it do anything? Roll initiative. <laughs> Is it going to roll? Initiative button. There we go. There it is. All right. Ooh, good roll, statue. You did your best. Yeah, did its best. Do I have any? I don't. That's fine. I forgot to actually add the abilities to Judge Fan Daniel's uh, roll twenty sheet. So, uh, at this point, you will see. Oh no. What? Oh, is that... That's gonna be okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so... You see Judge Fan Daniel uh, looking around at the statues that just spawned in. And he's like, ah... Uh. Alright, we have a thing. Franklin? Oh. Franklin, what did, what did you do up there? Judge Judge Van Daniel, uh, I think I think this I think this limit break bangles booby trapped. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're uh Yeah. I I'm not surprised either. I'm remembering now that I think that I read something about it being booby trapped. And I forgot. He's gonna put his he's gonna put his head in his hand before he uh, lifts up his shields and uh, does kind of like have an a, actual judge with you to bail you out. He's gonna do a little uh, fist bump, uh, uh, fist pump, and his both of his shields will uh, hit the ground on the corners, and the flower symbols will light up. Whoa! It is your turn. Whoa! Um. Can, uh, can I, I? Can I do that? Do can I do my, my transformations? Can I transform into Halmaroot? I. Uh, yeah, you can transform into Hallmaroot. Hallmaroot, oh. are, you, are you ready to do Judge Fight? Oh, uh, while I'm switching voices, can you get into the activity super quick? The activity. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, hopefully that 30 minute timeout will cancel now that you're in here. But who knows, we'll see. Did that work? 
Uh, maybe we'll find out in a couple minutes. Because <laughs> it's playing on my side. Oh yeah, it it's still playing. It just uh, it was saying that hmm. it's going to time out in a couple minutes. Uh, at least for me. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So you're communing with Hamaru? Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> See you uh, got yourself into another pickle, didn't you? Did Did I? Do you need Do you need me to come down? Uh, if you're ready, I, I don't want to, if you're busy, I don't want to, like, take you away from something. No, it's fine. Let's do this. Okay. And with a flash of light, you transform into Palm Roots. Hell yeah, perched on top of the statue? Uh, perched on top of the statue, that is correct. Ooh, right. What's the limit break bangle do? What, what do I got? There we go. Uh, the Limit Break Bangle. It is... Ba -ba -ba. The Limit Break itself will cover everyone that you it's deem night. an ally. Yes, for the night. Uh, cover everyone in double your move and jump range and take zero damage or and no status effects for four turns. This includes single target spells and group effects. This is so useless for Judge Fan Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Who already does that? He already does that. <laughs> Passively. Uh, the passive ability is uh, two times level to your armor and magic armor. Whoa. And there is an unknown oh. passive. That is a secret. Someone's just gonna have to find out. I'll just. Uh, hmm. <laughs> How do I find out something that's unknown? Uh. Maybe if I just shake it enough. Maybe. Uh, the statues. This one's going to teleport to Judge Van Daniel. Uh, the one up here. Teleport? Is... Oh, yes, these statues can teleport. There's one teleporting to right here. One teleporting over here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Are they going to just teleport to... Uh, okay. If, if I use the cover aspect of this bangle, they'll have to attack me, right? I'm going to tank. Uh, yes. Uh, but I am currently, like, 50 feet in the air. Yes. So if they teleport to try to attack me, where will they go? Uh, so basically, if you were to cover... Why is that an extra 35 in there? Yeah. Uh, 
if you were to cover Judge Van Daniel, uh, you would t you would uh, move your movement times two to his position. Ah, okay. So, because you're... What's your move right now? My move? Palmer's move? My move? Your move. Six. Jump a four. Oh, Six. My move. Yeah. Still, yeah. Thick, thick still. Okay. Uh, yeah, in that case, uh, you'll basically fly down. No, my down. move's four. Sorry. Yeah, you would fly down just in time to cover Judge Van Daniel. Now that's not extremely helpful. Uh, that's that'd be kind of a bummer. Yeah, it, it's not that nope. they teleport oh. to you. You go down to cover for him. But uh, so if he comes up here, then what do the statues do? Is what I'm asking. Uh, that's a good question, ain't it? But, uh, one of the statues is gonna try and attack Judge Van Daniel. Ah! <laughs> that's a lot of dice! That Stone blade! <laughs> Damage one. <laughs> that's gotta seem right, though. Is... Oh, right. My bad. I have to be very particular because uh, the hitbox on the statues are very wonky. Yeah, it looks about right. Uh, Trying okay. to attack Judge yeah, no, by I'd... Daniel. A swing and a miss. There we go. It is Halmaroot's turn. Glancing blow off the big shield. Does yeah. it still do one damage? No, absolutely. Hell miss. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, if it hit and Actual didn't negative go through the damage and stuff, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. All right, then, to the closest statue that just attacked Judge Fade Daniel, I'm going to cast Fade. All right. Cast Fade. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. I get to point my finger and I get to shoot. Nice. Holy light. Out of my fingers. Yeah, you do. Uh, Judge Van Daniel. Now it's good. Oh, gosh. Right. I still need to do that at some point. Uh... Judge Van Daniels is going to uh, start provoking them uh, as he calls up to you. Judge Homeroot, get out of here. <laughs> oh, 32. Uh, I have on there what the... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he starts provoking all of the uh, all of the statues, and they are going to teleport to him. Oh. And uh, I'm just gonna have to say that they're all in range of him. 
Because, uh... I hate the... Yeah, yeah, the hitboxes are... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you see that he is just... Woohoo! That was a uh, great attack roll, too. As all of these swings are coming in, he uh, puts his shields together into basically an impenetrable That's like, a crit. metal barrel. Yep. Yeah. He's made of bullet now. Yeah. He's basically shaped like a bullet that's like on its tip. Uh, hey, Finn Daniel, um, what, did you just, like, say that out of reflex or something? Are you used to, you know, getting in sticky situations and hustling people out of here? Because, like, I mean, I could leave. I just, I think you're good, dude. I think we could fight out of this. That, yeah. I was planning on, uh, heading out soon. I want to make sure that uh, they follow me and not you. If they follow anyone at all. I mean, they're just statues, I guess. Can't we just crush them? Yeah, they're all here in, uh, in a nice area. Crush them. All right. Can I, can I just, can I crush them? How do you want to crush them? Uh. Crush, crush, crush. Crush, crush, crush. Why did I just... Uh... Wait, Hamaru doesn't have the ability that I've got. What ability? Can I use... Can I use Atomos? With its two AoE to uh, hit all of them? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you can go back into Franklin and uh, bring out Atomos. Homeroot cannot make the call. <laughs> Homeroot can't call to me! Atomos. To you! Oh, hell yeah! I wanna, I'm sucking in the statues. Atomos is going to do the big suck. All right, Atomos is going to do the big suck. Uh, I believe... Uh, let me pull up. Tomos. And the book. Taking forever to load. There we go. Uh, is it G-Force? Uh... It's, yeah, it's a gravity-based spell that does 50%, because I'm at full health. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was the G-Force Call or Engulf that you were using. Oh, it's the Atomos Call, yeah. Okay, that... yeah. It... Alright, uh, in that case, yeah, that's going to bring them down... Uh, let's see, that is 50% of maximum. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's really good. Like, demi and stuff is like 50% of current usually, so... To see that it's 50% of maximum is absurd. All right, yeah. You Bonk. do. 
You do a lot of damage to them, and uh... my man's not made of stone, is he? Because if he gets hit by one of these blades, he's gonna turn to stone. If he does get hit by one of them, however, uh, so far they just keep uh, sliding off of his shields, and he is going to do another provoke to keep eyes on him and yeah that would be good he keeps all eyes on him and uh, everyone keeps uh, trying to attack him your turn again I do that not refresh I do have enough MP to uh, do an Atomos again. Man. The fact that that is of maximum. So absurd. Yeah. <laughs> and... That's not a yeah, dude. Oh, that's not a yeah. What's the opposite of a yeah? Yeah, that's an opposite of a yeah. Well, put him back. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even hit him with the reroll. It's still definitely not a yeah. Oh, it's dang. a nah. Uh, I want to use my um. I get to use a reroll once a session. I actually, get to do it twice a session. Oh yeah, you I might as well do good that fortunes. I did not know you had good fortune. God damn, I have no good fortune. <laughs> this ain't a hard roll. It, it's just 60%. It's just 60%. Yeah, I'm, nope, I lose the MP. I mean, you have a second one. I, I call him up and nothing happens. Uh, well, sorry, Vigil. About, I'm out of Atomos juice. I'll try again next time. What do you mean you're out of Atomos juice? You're just out, out. I'll, I'll get him next turn. I get, I'll get it. Ugh. I've, I've misdialed. Alright, he is going to... Uh, gosh. What should I have him deal? <laughs> that cast just that cast wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> it just wasn't destined. We to tried happen. our best. No, it was not in the dice. The dice did not want to. So, so you don't want. You sure? You sure you want to finish this out? Uh. I got a theory. Oh? I got a game theory. <laughs> well, I'm here all day until you explain it. What what's your theory? Uh if these statues can turn people to stone, then what if what if the statue that I'm standing on is actually our missing judge? Our missing judge is not 30 feet tall. Maybe they hit maybe they hit her a lot. To make her grow? Oh, I don't know how stone works. I've never been stoned. <laughs> not that way. 
Uh, no, that's not how it works. Uh, if it if it was physically possible for these guys to hit me, I could show you how it works. But it's not like that. No, 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 no. But like, what if what if she's inside of this? Yeah, I highly doubt that. If a judge gets stoned, could they they wouldn't be able to reincarnate, right? No, they wouldn't. And we haven't seen Judge Ultima for a long time, so, like, what if that's what happened? Are you sure? I think we could see this out. I, I want to, if, if we defeat the statues, maybe something happens. Also, right. I don't like the idea that we could come back here in a place that stone statues could just kick our ass at any time. Like, we should, this should be a safe place, shouldn't it? All right, yeah. It's like our cathedral. Yeah. I'll just keep being their punching bag. And uh, I'll let you finish them off. I got this. I got this. Don't worry. I got this. All right. Take it away. Take it away. Taking it away. Magic. Cast that macro. Now we talking. Hey. hey! I thought you said you were out. Well, I had, uh, I've gotten a lot of MP over the last couple levels. This season has been, been big gains in the MP pool. Well, great. Love to, love to hear that. Yeah. Like, All right. I think uh, this morning, I think, I think when I leveled up my character before this session, I gained half an Atomos. Oh, that that's pretty good gains then. Yeah. No, it was good. It was good. 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 Great. <laughs> Let me reroll it and see if I can get lower. Step aside, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, you successfully defeat the statues. Congratulations. Oop. Did it. Are you good? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, they, uh, they just crumbled to the ground. Uh, hey, I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask what you thought about something. Yeah, what, uh... What, what so, do you mean? I meant to read this before, actually going up there but i saw the shiny thing at the top this is the this this bangle there's like a bunch of these right they're all over evilies okay. and uh it's like a big scavenger hunt but for like ridiculously personal power and uh like i got one that turns me invisible i think this one just makes you like a tank for like five minutes oh so like me Basically, yeah, it just makes I could I could activate it right now and go you mode. Okay, yeah. Whenever people would use it, they would say, "Oh, that's so fan Daniel of the of them." Yeah, no, it's very much it's your thing. Um, but it has this clue, and I want to know your thoughts on this because it has to do with us, right? Uh, it says a signet under the symbol of strength and security. This bangle signifies the protectorates of Evilies. Which is cool, yeah, we're the knight. That makes sense, right? Yeah, that, judges. that makes sense, yeah. Uh, adorned on Ultima's head. That's how I knew it was up there. This accessory is watched by the most powerful eyes of Evilies. In the homelands of Helgas and the resting place of the gods, the knight draws all eyes to it. That's why we were all, like, looking at it when we were in here. Uh, yeah. One must have the charm to will her to relinquish this item... Uh, the room opens once every three years, so the only chance to get it may be the most dangerous. Uh, and uh, then the rest of the clue just says that I should go get it, basically. Oh. And it also says the ultimate prize will sound an alarm uh, if not removed with care, which is what happened. So, uh, what do you think? Should should we charm the statue? See what happens? Well, you already have the, You already have it, right? 
I mean, yeah, but what if I charm the statue? What if I what if I charm Judge Ultima and something happens, though? I I mean, no one's gonna stop you. I'm not gonna stop you. Well, I'm gonna charm a statue then. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, do I? He's gonna like walk around to like behind you ish and just watch. Uh, I don't have like a what's what's a what's a good charm ability? Uh, there's smooth talking, there's negotiation. Uh, depending on how you want to smooth talk, could be like uh, could be like a leadership. Uh, yeah, let's give go me with uh, huh? Give me a charm. Tell me what you're gonna say. And then I'll tell you which one of those will be accurate. Ah, okay. I'll I'll do it first before I roll. Okay. But how do I want to? How do I want to say this? Oh, Judge Ultima, your grace. We miss you so much and would do anything to have you here to see you once again. Uh, it is uh, with my greatest honor to be in your presence. Even as a statue, you are so cool. All right, roll me a smooth talk with no modifier. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, hachi, 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 hachi. yeah, the uh, doesn't seem to really respond much, but I do like that you created there. That is pretty funny, so, uh... How about an item? A 46 item. As a reward for the good roll you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, 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 wait. In, in the most Final Fantasy XII fashion, it, <laughs> like takes an item off of its head but since there's no item there currently it just randomly grabs something from the pool yes amazing yeah. no i accept that wholly that's great because mm -hmm. you see the statue it reaches up it goes to its head and pulls an item off of it and hands it to you it is a chronos tear Ugh. Oh well, that would work. That's uh, that's all. Uh, th thank you. I will treasure this dearly, Judge Ultima. Uh, miss you, Mom. I hope to see you soon. And I look at Judge Fade and I give him a give him a nice thumbs up. Hey, it worked. His head is tilted in kind of a curious way. Mm. I wonder if you call... flirt with all the statues. I wonder if they all do this. Did, did you call her mom? I don't know. It just seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Okay. That... Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to take care of some business. Uh, if... do, you, do you want to keep flirting with the statues? Uh, if they keep giving me items, kinda. But uh, no, no, we gotta move on. I, I, I gotta get going. That, that's what I thought. Great doing combat with you, Van Daniel. Really, really good time. That was great doing combat with you too. I'll uh, 
I'll talk to you later, Judge Homer. And he walks to, towards the center of the room. Can you roll me an awareness check with no modifiers? <laughs> Always. You know I love doing that for you, buddy. It is your favorite skill. No modifiers. None needed. All right. Perfect. Getting we'll better at it. You see that he is putting a uh, a black uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Vanta, Vanta Black is it called? The super deep dark Vanta Black? black? Like the, the, the blacky black? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Vanta! Yeah. Uh, a uh, what well, looks like a felt cloth of that color down on the center of the room. And uh, he then picks it up. You see that there are some items within the cloth. And he walks off. Oh, this is a cool looking claw. What was that guy doing? What? Well, no time for that now. Gotta get, gotta get mosey on. All right, perfect. You now have the whole town. Gotta leave him to his privacy. Let him do his weird stuff. Yeah, you got a point there. Ooh, let me move these. Uh, what? What was the question? I think I Discord cut half it off. Oh, uh, I was just going to ask. Uh. What would you like to do now? Well, it's time to go to Krista and uh, see how she's doing. Oh. Uh, directly to Krista, you don't want to look anywhere in the town? Um... Actually, no, yeah, I do. Before we get to Krista, can we stop by the tavern? Just pop ahead and see who's around. Yeah. Let me prepare a little bit. Just what I, I see some closure on some things, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why did I not add that to the music list for tonight? It has to be on every music list for these streams. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you can definitely go to the tavern. Uh, what, what mm -hmm, would you like mm -hmm. to know? What would you like to see? Unless you mean the one from uh, uh, a bit ago. I just pop my head and see if I recognize anybody, see if there's any judges in here or any retainers of judges that I might know. Any uh, possible future retainers. Yes, actually. There Anyone is. with great vibes? <laughs> ah, crap! You can see uh, Judge Igiorm is uh, having a drink at the bar. Ah! Judge Homeru! Come, uh... 
Come, come, uh, have a seat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. Hey. Hey, so, uh... Yeah. How's... How's your first convocation? That was... That was, uh, a nightmare, really. That was, uh... Kind of like, you know, you have that dream as a kid where you wake up without pants on and then you go to school. It was uh, basically like a, a real-life version of that, you know? Yeah. Well, sounds like you had fun. I mean, did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was funny. You should have seen the look on your face. I kind of wish I could uh, have. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty aware. Yeah. It's a great face. I think you'd love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, you know, uh. You know they were just, uh, razzing you a little bit, right? I mean, kinda. I, I just kind of take it as being insecure about your positions to like yeah. you know need to haze the new guy like I just uh, I don't know seems kind of weak well if you want a little inside knowledge it was less uh it was more to see how you would respond. No, if, I, I know. I if, know. If, if you'd back down, if you'd uh, be quiet, what, uh, or if you'd stand up for yourself. No, I, I mean, I didn't really have a choice because I got. I'm not like representing just me, but I'm also ju I'm representing, you know, Hamaroot, the old judge, and like y'all's whole system. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna can't like back down from that. Good. Good. Also, I fucking hate Emmett Selk, so I wasn't gonna look like an asshole next to him. <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck that guy. Honestly, we all hate him. You know he threatened a kid, right? Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm pretty sure he's done much oh, yeah, worse yeah. things. You see that? You see that guy over there with the the frou frou drink? Yeah. With like the hot chocolate mix and the peppermint twizzle. Yeah. Yeah. No, the kid the kid made that drink, like invented it wholesale. And, no uh, shit, really. I guess somehow, yeah, it's been like it got really big on like the TikTok circuit or something. I don't know how, but everyone kind of knows about this drink now. And uh, yeah, I was the they they helped make it and then. Now it's everywhere, and then Emmett Selk like threatened the kid, and I'm, I'm just like mad about it on principle, but also like, but also it's just really uncanny how fast things move around here. Yeah, jeez. Then now we, uh, you turn a celebrity. Well, I mean, who yeah, here hasn't? Yeah, right, right. Who here hasn't threatened? Someone of importance before. Uh, probably that guy with the drink with the twizzle stick. Oh yeah, probably him. No, I I mean of our profession. Yeah. Even us. Yes. Uh yeah. Yeah. I it's... have. Uh, yeah. It wasn't a fun day. I mean, you'll get used to it. I I don't. I don't want to though. I mean, how how do you feel when you have to like, uh, you know, use your power over other people who are clearly weaker than you? Well, that's almost everybody. But uh, if if it's someone that I would figure, yeah, if it if it's someone that uh is 
being suspicious, doing self suspicious, just general suspicion around them, then I basically rationalize it as they could have an item that could make any of us that that could absolutely flip the table absolutely flip the script and uh, uh well sometime you yeah hide in your intuition i th i'd like to think so I usually like to uh, go into it once I have a full, better understanding of the situation. Sometimes I make mistakes. But uh, that's what drinks are for. That's fair. I, I think that more than drinks, you need camaraderie. That's the other part. I'm probably going to make a mistake coming up here. And uh, I know that when I do, I'm probably going to, you know, let folks know. Like I, just... I kind of noticed that, like, on the over the email lists, these these things that everyone writes up about, uh, they seem to only write up when they do things right. Yeah. And when they do things wrong, it seems like they don't write them up. And so... I feel like we got to be more honest with, with our protocol, you know, because we have to make all these tough decisions. And if we can't stand with each other when we make poor decisions, then what chance do we have to, <laughs> if any of us get in like serious trouble, you know? Yeah, you have a point. I know we go in groups and stuff, but I, I wonder if Hamrut, the old judge Hamrut, might have had a better chance of people knew what he was getting up to yeah you probably would have well uh to your point uh did you read uh judge drew Adolphin's reports uh when he tried to uh infiltrate the base in nalbana yeah yes he admitted his mistake he couldn't get his target yeah he's got the right of it no that that was those were very good reports and I, I hope that I can make some reports like that too now yeah now that I'm more comfortable <laughs> yeah <laughs> communicating and, uh, with everybody good good yeah yeah I was personally kind of wondering when that was gonna happen uh it was kind of weird that uh, Judge Fandaniel was handling your reports, like, with the Blue Lotus and everything. And then Hallmru told us all what was going on, so... Oh wait, Hallmru told you what was going on? Yep. Yeah, Hallmru told, oh. uh, our espers. Our espers told us. Oh, come on! What?! You're telling me! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you. Yep. Me and I'm pointing at me now. You. <laughs> Stop snitching. How Damn. Neat. Yeah. No. Uh, all of our espers are in. Uh, communication there was a there was a point where Hobbit was genuinely uh concerned for you just, just one well there was several i yeah. i assume there were several but he uh, he would not have told the rest he was kind of trying to hold the secret until Something happened. I don't know. He didn't really go into detail. Uh, Iggy Long. Uh, if he told Iggy Long, he didn't tell me. Oh right, right, right. You're you're judging Iggy and you have 
the Esper Iggy orb, right? Yep. Um, does everyone call you Iggy? Once. I guess is that is this the first time is or is this a different time? No, no, no. I I'm, I'm saying everyone has one opportunity. Oh crap! Did I just use mine? He looks at you. Or are you th is he looks at the drink. <laughs> I'll give you one more opportunity. That was more of a question yes. than actually calling me it. What do you do if they call you twice? Well, you see these swords here? Uh, yeah, I noticed it. I, I noticed that um, you have multiple swords. It's yeah, like a I'm... very distinct feature of uh, your whole of viewer. Yeah, I, I make sure that there isn't a second time. How many times has Emmett Selk called you it? To my face? He's already used his once. Huh. Yeah. Hey, does your boat talk? Do you have a, sh a ship that talks? Uh, talks? No. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I can't say it does. Oh. Well, Why? Krista has a lot of things to say about you, that's for sure. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Krista was talking about Judge E. Yorm. Who's Krista? Is that your boat? Uh, yeah. Yeah, do you, do you not have a boat? Do you not have a name for your airship? Not really, and it de definitely does not talk. Oh, so wait, then do you, you just kind of fly quietly? Do you like play music or anything? Uh, I usually converse with my retainers. Oh, right. Yeah, what do you talk about with your retainers then? Uh, usually, uh, training them on exercises, uh, giving them skills that is necessary to take the duties of a judge, uh, to basically to become a judge, you need to show off that you are prepared, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually. And I just want to have my two retainers prepared for whenever a judge is gone. Oh, okay, so it's you and the and your two retainers on your ship. Yeah. It does not talk. So you all hang out. Do you ever watch movies together? Yes. Hey, what kind of movies do you watch? Boss Baby. Boss baby. Yes. Boss baby. Yes. What? I. What? I, are you a, are you a Baldwin fan? Do you do you watch Thirty Rock? No, 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 no. Just just Boss Baby. Uh. That's my favorite the, like... and only movie I've ever watched. Do you watch any of the sequels? The sequels? Yeah. You yeah, mean there's multiple? Two. Yeah, the boss baby, family business. It's the second one. There's a second one? Yeah. They added they added the girl boss. I think. This is news to me. Have where where can I get it? I think you could just order it at like at any good. It's pretty new still, so like I think you could just get it, just or put it on Netflix or something. Okay, all right, I'll uh, I'll have to 
Get it, Summer. Thanks for letting me know. Are you like a movie buff or something? Oh yeah, no, I, I yeah, I love movies. Oh, if okay. you didn't have a movie in mind, I was gonna recommend something. Oh, well, uh, thank thank you. I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll save I'll save my recommendation for later. Uh, what, what what do you what do you recommend? You're a, you're a wholly realized boss baby man. I don't want to I don't want to take that from you. All right, fantastic. Perfect. Thank no, you. That's that's fair. Yeah. Uh, so how did you? Uh, I don't understand how you became Judge Homer. The previous one just <laughs> gave you his powers and everything? Uh, yeah, I mean, Homerut, old Homerut and Homerut, Homerut, they kind of all just chose me. That's weird and not normal. How did you become Judge Jigiorm? Well, I was a retainer for about 15 years. Uh... The previous judge, Igiorm, passed away. I was retainer under Judge Emerald. And uh, once the previous judge, Igiorm, passed away, I, with other retainers, was brought here to uh, basically go through trials as we were judged to determine who was the most likely to become the next judge, Igiorm. And I was selected. Whoa! Did you do like a, a, a like Squid Game thing or something? Essentially. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have stood a chance in that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, you you have not, to be not even for a second, dog. Yeah, you have to be uh physically strong, mentally strong, uh. From and and yeah, uh, that, so that definitely would be a challenge if any of those are a challenge to you. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I guess I I feel like I skipped the line or something. Maybe that's why y'all were mad at me or needed to razz me. Hard. Oh, oh, uh, our personal razzing. We uh. We just did that to make sure that you, well, that's kind of, kind of it, but also more so to make sure that you wouldn't be scared by a bunch of colleagues, because you're going to find things much more terrifying than all of us, <laughs> giving you a little, a little oh, I have. Yeah, scare. No, I, yeah. I, I have, for sure. Good. Good. But the last couple weeks have been great. I gotta be honest, it's it's been kind of it's been kind of good lately. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like almost too quiet, you know. Well, you know what that means. Yeah. 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 Like things kind of settled down leading up to the convocation, and now, uh, yeah, I figure that means someone's got plans somewhere. Oh, probably. There's. Probably sure, right now, there's somebody out there that's making some big choices. Probably several people. If I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, some rogue group of three or four. Or two. Or two. Yeah, but uh, it's amazing how much you could get done when you're in a group, you know? It's true. Uh, I will let you know that uh, we, although the judges know that you are not the same person as the previous Judge Homer, our retainers do not, because our retainers will be furious. They could eat my whole asshole. I don't care. That's yes. my system, not mine. I mean... I'm just letting you know. And they you... have previously, uh, speaking specifically. 
I don't know what your all's retainer system is, but like the out process of it is seems weird. Uh, I was at a murder mystery party with a bunch of judge retainers who thought I was Judge Homerut's retainer. And uh, then they found out I was the real Judge Homerut and uh, they, they were non nonplussed by the whole thing in a word. Honestly, that's kind of funny. I think someone died during it. It was, yeah, it was not not the death. I mean, it was part. kind of sad. Yeah, 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 not the death part, but uh, the fact that the fact that you were in the room with a bunch of old retainers who thought you were also a retainer—that's pretty hilarious. I, yeah, I, I think that one's kind of just a distinctly Judge Homerut thing, because <laughs> I don't think there's any other way that could happen with any other of the judges. Yeah. But yeah, no, they had like the old armor and stuff. Like they, they were like really weird about it. <laughs> I mean That was my first my first interaction with most of the judges uh personalities, I guess you could say. That's fair. One of yeah. the judge Iggy or old retainers was there and stuff. Like it was it was weird. Oh that that Wait, no. Is... No, I don't think there was, because there was not a uh we did not have this art done yet. We didn't have the art done yet, but we did have placeholders. Mm, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, there were several of the guests that didn't have the uh, their judges' art done yet, and then when Yost did get them done, I was yeah. like, "Hey, hey, you played this person. Check out their art. Isn't it sick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I especially remember uh, coming up to Morat since." They played uh, Judge Nabrialis. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was so sick. <laughs> that art's so good. Oh, I just noticed what time it is. It is about 10. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. we've been... Well, uh, nice, nice getting to catch up with you, Judge Igior. Thank you for... Thank you for sharing a drink with me and hanging out. You're welcome. Letting your, letting your hair, your your big old spiky hair down. Uh, that that's armor. Yeah, is it like a sun or something? Like what? Yeah. How do you it? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's in the shape of a sun. Are you like a demon or like is it supposed to be like a posy vibe? Are you are you the posy vibes judge? Uh. No, just it's just to get attention to it, it, it's just supposed to uh, call attention say hey look at me I'm important whatever it's uh, pretty it, it, it's a uh, pretty old fashioned I kept it from the last couple of judge eager games. Yeah. Okay. Well, bye. All right. Good luck out there. I'll need it. And with that, we are going to take a quick 5, 10, 50, 20 minute break. And <laughs> uh, see you all uh, soon. Bye. All right. Hello, friend. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Steal the Skies. Chris did do a flip. Uh, last we left off, I forgot to ask you this week's question. So it's a pop oh quiz. Oh, my God. Yeah, what's the last question of the week? Uh -huh. Last question of the week is, if you would describe yourself in one emotion, what emotion would it be? I'm Frick scared. just specifically describing himself. Uh, um. Hmm. <laughs> Franklin's entire emotion in one word. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> optimistic, naive, one of those. Optimistically <laughs> naive. <laughs> one, one of them. You, you could pick which one depending on how you look at them. Is naive an emotion though?
Uh, I guess not. No. All right. Optimistic it is then. So you got done talking to Judge Igiorm. Uh, what what would you like to do now? Hmm. Sorry, I'm still thinking about Judge Franklin or Franklin and optimism and stuff, and I realized, yeah, you know what? I don't think he would get bogged down by doom scrolling on Twitter. He would see politics happening and he'd go, "Well, whatever. We can do better than that." That's my thought. That's that's my okay. I think I, I've had to get the full idea down. Uh, as far as Judge Igiorm, yeah, when we left off. Uh, I just had a nice drink with Judge Igiorm, where. He came out and said that everyone was hazing me. Haha. Uh -huh. It was a good laugh. Everyone actually knew that I was not the old Judge Homeroot the entire time. Great. Um Yeah, so so I guess I'm just I'm just gonna leave with that knowledge. I'm gonna All pick right. up my pick myself up. Alright. Uh anywhere you wanna go specifically? Um, I don't know. Is there anything to do on the streets? Uh, walk around with a mask on, doing some, doing some street judge. You know what? Yeah. Uh, oh wait, I don't want that to be a token. On my way back to Krista. Go. I'm trying to head there. Heading back to Krista, you come across where there's usually some entertainment. And... You hear... Buskers? Uh... No. No, you do not. Jonglers? Are they entertainers? Are they jongling? No, uh, th this person very much isn't entertaining. You hear someone, uh... Oh, jeez. You hear someone shouting, get, get back! Get back! I need to see a judge! I need to see a judge right now! Shit, I hope there's a judge around here. All right. Well, uh, I'm a judge. I oh, gotta yeah, go through I'll the just crowd. Help, help you get on. What's what's the matter? Are you gonna go through the crowd to see what's going on? Yeah. All right. You. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the distance to where Krista is and how close I am to the ship. You go through the crowd a little bit, and uh, you see a. It opens up to a sort of a circle where everyone is a little terrified. In the middle of this open circle is a Helgus holding out his arm with a stone in his hand. Get back! I know how to use this. I need to see a judge right now. Hey, well, what's all the commotion, dude? You, he points the stone right at you. Yeah, me. Yeah. Uh, what? Your organization has... Ruined my life. Oh, yours too, huh? <laughs> Join the club, I guess. This is not some joke. Oh. Well, my condolences that I'm sorry. What happened? Tell me about it. You all should know about it. it uh, I, I was a simple farmer. I was minding my own business uh, up up in Giza Plains, and uh, just a huge explosion. The, you judges killed my family. 
We did? Yeah. Which judge? I let, let, Tell me which judge did it. I, I don't know any judges' names. Uh, the armor, uh, they, they were gone very quickly. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like a judge, all right. Pretty pretty quick description of uh, of all of them, basically. Good. What 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 do you farm? Uh, I I uh, Gissel, uh, I farm Gissel greens. But but that's not that's not important. I'm I'm gonna take you out. I have some nethesite right here, and I'm gonna use it. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you use that, yeah, we're all done. Yeah. Like we're all like super done. I mean, except for me. What? What? What do you mean? I I don't I don't die. Everyone else does though. Yeah, that's for sure. But that would suck. That would like that would just be really sad. I'd I'd really hate that for you, man. But, uh, God, you're so nonchalant about this. Uh, no, I, I, I'm taking this seriously. It, it's just, you know, if what you've got right there is, is Nethesite, then, then yeah, we're, everyone here is smoked, uh, except for all the judges that are here. The, the, this could destroy entire continents. This can know. this That's can absolutely take them. on this can take out this can take out judges. It has to. It has to be the one thing that it, can do it. it. I, I mean, judges aren't stronger than continents, surely. Judges aren't what? Str stronger than continents? Uh yeah. You you're saying that you could survive something that could destroy an entire continent. Uh, well, so like, uh, look, here's the thing. I'd probably die. Uh, but the judge role that I've got uh, definitely wouldn't. It would just move on to the next person, right? Well. You know what? That might be good enough for me. Really? Uh, but I didn't do anything to you. I think we could find the judge that did it to you, and then we could, you know, get even. Uh, I feel like can, there's just a lot of better ways to do this. Can you roll me a negotiate? No modifier. <laughs> it's so good and yet <laughs> does a 93 work I, you're just not gonna yet not yet <laughs> You're just gonna you're just gonna lead me lead me on a goose chase. You're not gonna take you're not gonna take me to any judge. Well, listen, like it sounds like you're going through hard times. This this really doesn't need to be a rock bottom, you know. But I I'm I'm here. I'm at I'm at rock bottom. Well, what's down there? What's what's down there with you? How are you feeling right now? Uh, you want to destroy everything around you? Yeah, yeah. Anger, frustration, and desperation. How would that how, how would that do right by your family? Your family that was unjustly taken for you. Would they would they want you to do this? Would they think better of you because of it? Uh, they'd be avenged. Avenged for, by who? For who? Avenged by me? I... No, because no one would know you. I'll, I'll know that the murder is gone. Well, the, the 
tell me your name and then I could, you know, at least say who did it. Uh, dude. It's Chris. Chris. Hey, I'm Frank. Uh, uh, Frank doesn't sound Frankie. like that much of a judge name. Chris doesn't sound like that much of a terrorist name. It sounds like a guy who misses his wife and kids and really, you know, likes farming Gissel Greens. Do you know where your Gissel Greens go? Because... I do a lot of chocobo writing, and so I know a little bit about Gissel Greens. Uh, can you roll me a smooth talk? No modifier. <laughs> I could try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. He he lowers the arm that's holding the stone. And he's like, uh, I, yeah, uh, a lot of my greens goes to the races that happen in the area, uh, Jahara and Rabinaster. There's, there's a lot of races that happen in Rabinaster. Yeah, there really are. I'm just realizing now that you said that I haven't raced in Evil East yet. I raced in different parts of the Astral Plains. I Sorry. should race at Evil East. Uh, yeah. Sorry, you just got you got me thinking about something. Yeah, you might you might find things are a little uh, a little different from other astral planes. I guess. I yeah, probably. I feel like it's not like I'm a great racer, but I, I think I could do pretty good. Well, uh, what what kind of chocobo do you have? Oh, I got a beautiful purple chocobo. Name's oh. Ed Helms. That's... After the, the actor in the, the Hangover. Have you ever seen The Hangover? No, I I haven't. Oh, man. I think there's a scene like this in, in one of The Hangovers, actually, if I remember right. Kind of exactly like this. But everyone was drunk. That You know, that's The Hangover, the titular Hanging Over. Uh, yeah, I assume so, dude. yeah. Uh, well, do you... Do you have anyone that... Do I uh, what? I mean, Chris, you're the one with the rock. You can, you know, you got, you got the rock, man. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're. You think you're asking? You're gonna ask me something? I. You lost my train. You you made me lose my train of thought. I. You want to kill a judge, right? Yes, 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 I do. Well, yeah, me too. You do? I mean, yeah. I just was in a room with all of them. We all had like our big meeting. So yeah. They're all here. They're like all here in town, right? You know, you know <laughs> that. All right, perfect. Where's this room? Where's this meeting? One at? of them... Oh, it already happened. So everyone's kind of leaving already. Uh, half of them probably already took off. God. Okay. Yeah, you missed it by like an hour and a half. Uh, I guess it's been more like three or four hours. Yeah. Earlier today. So like, I was in a room with them, and there's one guy who's like an asshole, right? One of my okay. coworkers in in all of this, we're we're all trying to help Evilies, help the whole world find peace, and uh, this guy is like actually a a like full on murderer. That's like his whole deal is he loves to do murders, and uh, for some reason, this is my first time with all these people. For some reason, everyone in the room's just like cool with it. That's fucked up. Like they're they're too they're too good for yeah. That's the part I'm trying to figure out too. 
I've seen him work. It's a, it's not an easy job having to, uh, to deal with the things that we deal with, but like, he especially just deals with his problems by, by just killing them immediately. Um, and so like, I'm trying to figure out why he gets to have his job, but at the same time, everyone else is looking at me like I don't do a good job. I am not a good judge because I'm brand new at this. And so I don't really have any place to like accuse someone of being bad at a judge when I don't even have the experience in, in life to know what that means. Yeah. Maybe he's a really good judge and I, and my, my moral code is, is blinding me from seeing how he's actually very effective. Maybe he, maybe him killing these civilians on the streets ends up saving thousands of more lives down the line. I don't, I can't tell. I don't know. I don't think so. My gut tells me otherwise, but. You know, it's, it's hard. It's a hard world out there. Yeah. Yeah, that. I just think you could do a lot better than blowing it up can you roll me another uh, I'll let you choose between negotiating and smooth talk they're the same <laughs> he says it he says the. Thing. <laughs> I mean your score is the same that's true yeah oh what nice round numbers. That's pleasing. That That's very pleasing. Yeah, you see that uh, he his shoulders are relaxing. He's... Uh, he is no longer on guard. And he takes a couple steps closer. Oh, that's not right. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, all... Judges were like your coworker, to be honest. So, but, uh, more. you obviously aren't. I, well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be better than them. I just don't have like 56 swords or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I have a different way of doing things. They're a bunch of different guys and girls and, and everything in between. Yeah. I I I guess. Is Do you think it that they're all hardened because of the job? That they're mean because the job know. has you doing what you do. Cuz you said you're new at this. I think they're mean I, I think they're mean cuz they're assholes. Uh, but I also don't know enough to say, like, if they were removed, if a bigger asshole wouldn't take their place because, because of what the job is. And the job has a lot of power tied up with it. Like, I, I walked into that meeting and they hazed me like, like schoolyard bullies. Just for showing up, which, like, I, that's fine, I could take it. That's fucked, though. You're their co-worker. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It like, just made me think that there's there's this insecurity there, right? Yeah. And so I told them as much, and I've, I'm talking to them about it. And But I've also seen them do their jobs, so it's like, well, they do their job. There's a civil war going on across the world, and that's... You know, it's their responsibility to make sure that none of those governing bodies take drastic measures. I gotta go, you know, talk to popes and the churches to make sure that they're not, you know, holding massive bioweapons. And uh, outside of that, like, you know, there's lots of places where power amasses. 
Maybe I'm the weird one here, but I don't know. You're you're a weird one too. What? It was weird. I haven't seen just like a civilian have Nethosite on hand and try to like openly walk around with it. And it's just that's interesting. That's that's ballsy. That's cool. Oh, oh, uh, it's not cool, uh, but like, but like, goddamn. Yeah, the this actually. Yeah, you kind of called my bluff. This is actually this isn't actually Nethosite. I can't. I don't know how to actually get Nethosite. I know. I know. It, it's just a regular magicite. It's, it's my job to know. Yeah. No, I. I, I know. Yeah, this one can make water. He uh, holds up the stone and, uh, like, uh, oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, and a uh, uh, little bit of water flows out of it before it shatters. Hey, yeah, no, that's, yeah. Yeah. I, if it was actually net the site, I probably would have, like, cried and... and peed or something like that <laughs> like uh, it would have been it would have been bad that that would have been very sad that's pretty yeah that would be very sad and embarrassing yeah hard. But, uh, it, why why do you gotta like is the is the stuff about your family true yeah that that was true there, there was a judge I, I I think a judge killed them but honestly I wasn't home to see what happened so maybe not oh well I, I uh, okay I just wanted to confront y'all all of you Yeah. Well, that's weird, man. Yeah. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Go home. Cry. Wait, you don't you don't have to go home. What do you mean? Do you have an airship? No. Do you have any money in your pocket? Uh, no. Well, no. I have a little bit, but I was just going to trek back over the mountains. Do you have a farm? Uh, back home. Sell it. Sell the farm? Sell the farm. And then what? You could do anything you want. Like like what? Well, you could become a mercenary, you could become a sky pirate. You could get really good at triple triad. Those are all the cool things that I could think of off the top of my list. You could, uh, you could become a, you could become a, a, a judge's, uh, a guy. I don't think I want to become a judge's guy. Why are uh, you hiring for a judge's guy? I, uh, that, hmm. I. Uh, I could. Wait. Yeah. No. Wait. 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 Yeah. I could have. A, I could have tryouts or something for a judge's guy. Oh. Uh, the, yeah. All the you... other judges. All the other judges have retainers that help them out with like judge stuff. And I don't have any retainers, and I was never given any. And all the other judges 
retainers are pissed off at me. So I gotta get a retainer. Maybe two. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess you could. Yeah, I didn't know that judges had Do retainers. You... Yeah, no. Secret societies, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't you know? Freaky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I should have a contest of for, for who could be the next evil East judge retainer guy. Yeah. You evil East is next top judge guy. Judge's guy. Do not be confused with the judge guy. That's a different guy. Yeah. Yeah. You should have a Evil East's next judge guy. I mean, yeah, if you want to come to that, a whole uh, tryout's next week. Okay. Yeah. Where should I do it? Should I do it in. If I do it in Rabin Aster, that'll be. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Do it in Rabin Aster. That's close to you, right? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty close to me. Yeah, okay. I think it's uh, time for you to start living. I don't know what this contest is going to do, but, like, you deserve to start living, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know about selling the farm just yet, but... I'll come to I'll come to the I'll come to your tryouts. Hey, hold on to it until the market's right. I, I I get it, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, they say don't quit your day job. But, Do they uh, say that? I mean, some people say that. I think. I guess. Oh crap! <laughs> Why did you quit your day job? Then I've made a terrible mistake. You. you yeah, when I became a judge. That didn't won't that become your day job? It's not really a day job, it's like an all of the time job. Oh, like a day night weekend job? Yeah, like a day night weekend job. Ooh. Well I guess I can show up. The hours are rough. But Mmm. Yeah, yikes. Uh, I'll okay. show up to the I'll, tryout. Yeah, I'll put you on my list. Okay, okay. I, is that Chris with a, with an H? Uh, no, no, it's uh, K-R-I-S. Chris. Yeah. Should I put a last name down, or should I just expect you when I we see you? Uh, just, just expect me. I'll, I'll, I'll be in Rabbit Aster for that. Can you roll me an awareness check? No modifiers. Actually, plus 20. Ooh. I need it. All I right. needed it. You needed it. Just about. Actually, actually, no, you didn't. You would have had. You would have been under without a plus 20. <laughs> Just barely cleared it. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm aware. I see it through my judge mask. You are aware. All things. Uh, Chris waves, waves you goodbye and walks away. Uh, as he does, you can see uh, on the uh, rooftop of a building behind where Chris was uh, standing is uh, Judge La Brea. And he oh. hops off the roof and walks towards you. Uh, uh hey, dude. Hey, I have What's to say, up? you did a fantastic job de escalating that situation. De, de wanting? De I was I was not on an escalator at any moment during that conversation. Uh, no, no, de-escalating, uh, the, 
the person was mad do and you made them. Do we have no. No, no, no. It's, uh, the person you have, like, was like big stone dace platforms that like rise and fall. And... Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, right, yes. right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, the person was mad. You did a good job making them not mad. That's all that means. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's it uh. He could have smoked you. Probably. Most people can. Yeah. If that was actual manufactured methacite, uh, <laughs> but uh. No, no, I would have, I would have known if it was manufactured methacite. It would have gotten all hot in here. That's right. Uh. Although, I will let you know. Be a little bit no, Don't worry. No, I, I know that much. Okay. All right. That's good. I can, uh... I can kind of see why you were chosen as the next Judge Homer. The oh. previous... The previous one also liked to negotiate. Also liked to be on a more uh, personal, more human level with the people that he spoke with. Are you not on a human level? Are you like on a demi-human level or something? Is there like a, a higher Ma humanity? Ma many judges. Uh, because oftentimes we are busy with our duties or we need to make sure that something is safe or not. Uh, might, uh, might have either Stolen that from his hands, or might have chopped off his hand, or anything like that before uh, before things would have gone worse. Uh, and then ask questions. But uh, uh, yeah, but he was ripped. Didn't you see that? He, he was had he was you know farmer. He had the farmer tan and everything. That's true. It was a farmer. You chop off his hands. He can't. He can't work in the as, on a farm. Do you? Do you that's correct. You, uh... I'm... It's literally a waste of good farm hands. <sighs> yeah. Sure is. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we got a Dude. farm. Many hands make light work. That, 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 it sure does. No hands make the work extremely heavy. He's gonna, he's just gonna look at you deadpan through the mask and uh, you can hear him uh, sigh very loud. Yes. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can you? Yeah, I could see a lot of the previous Judge Homerud in you. I can definitely see why. Yeah, because I'm just as handsome as him. All right, this conversation's over. Uh, wait, 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 Lava Wait, 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 wait. What? what? Hey, how did... I, I've been asking everybody I can. How did you become a judge? Were you part of the, the uh, retainer school of special gifted kids? Yes, yes, I was a retainer, and uh, once all once uh, the previous judge La Brea had to resign, had to uh, retire, I took over command of his station after some uh, evaluations and tests. Oh, yeah. Iggy told me that he was a couple of different judges. <laughs> yeah. Guys, and then uh, and then he told uh, that, that was before he became Judge Iggy or. Yes. Yes. Uh, every every was, single judge except class for you. or something. Uh, I guess the ritual to become a judge is a graduating class, but it's not really a class per se.
probably usually what happens with like a bunch of judges all get smoked up and by some big explosion or something. I mean, if there was a big explosion that took out a bunch of judges, I assume there would be. <laughs> but uh, that has never happened. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> worried about that for a second. I figured that was a, a normal case in our line of work. No! No. It is... Uh, most judges retire. Because, uh... Oh! Yeah. Is uh, bored? Usually of old age. And uh, not fully able to continue adventuring. Continue, uh... Being as uh, life, strong as... Life is a highway, yeah. <laughs> Always sure love is. adventuring with my pals, the judges. Yeah. Uh, because usually uh, the strength aspects, uh, how you do in combat is, you, is a pretty high factor for judges since a lot of times you might have mm -hmm. to take down an entire mm -hmm. gang of people. A, an entire gang of bad guys. So, combat effectiveness is high on what makes on a, as you would put it, graduating judge. That's why you see many judges are very strong. And if you are curious about a certain judge, yes, he did, uh, Pass his test with flying colors on combat effectiveness. Unfortunately, that is the only thing he is good at. Wow. Ugh. Damn, throw him all the way to the bus, why don't you? I mean, we're all thinking it. We all know it. He knows we all know it. He, he likes to tease us about it. Yeah, sounds uh, not not to put too light on the the the, the system, you know, but it sounds lame. Because. Uh, I got an idea. I got an idea for okay. tryouts. Because I need a retainer, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. If, if you're looking for a retainer, you can do tryouts. Judges have done that in the past. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, honestly, tryouts... Uh, whenever a judge needs to find a new retainer, they do it however they see fit. Could be tryouts, could be uh, just meeting someone and liking their vibe. Could be a family friend. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. But, family uh, friend. Uh, huh. I was thinking about just putting out some flyers and saying, hey, we're going to have practice. We're going to have, we'll have judge tryouts. You can do that. Okay. Yeah. It's, it, that is not unheard I was of. About having them in, uh, do you want to, I was thinking about having them in, in Rabinaster, so it's kind of in the middle. In the middle Do you want to be a guest judge for a day? You want to help me choose some guys? Oh, God. Yeah, sure. The, yeah! The the war between Waswar and Vidrow hasn't been exciting, so... I, I still can't believe this will be there. more exciting than that, but... <laughs> Maybe a day off will be helpful, you know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, when will you be hosting what kind of, it? What, would, what do you think would be a good way to 
to choose between different uh, uh, candidates. Well, to choose between different candidates. If, if you wanted to find the best judge out of a group of a group of people, best retainer. What would be the one thing that you're looking for for a retainer? So there's several factors into it. Uh, they are going to have to take. Oh over. yeah, I'll be judging for. I'll be working for several factors. I'll. I, I want to stretch these guys. We'll, yeah. We'll make them work. Make them sweat. So we'll probably... Like, what's the one thing? We'll probably need, like, some uh, practice dummy or something just to see, like, how they would approach combat since that's going to eventually be needed if they want to become a judge or if they want to assist oh, you with that. A combat judge. Uh, it's, it's entirely what you find valuable. So, uh, probably, definitely, talking to them, that would be useful. Uh, the, you get a good, you get a good uh, feel of who they are that way. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see what kind of, in combat stuff, uh, see what kind of, like, how they approach things. Are they a fighter? Are they a mage? Do they run away? Do they have zero capabilities? Uh, Igior was telling me about like a Squid Games type thing that y'all did or something. For retainers uh, that were becoming judges. Yeah. yeah. What if we did something like that? Uh, you could do what that. Would your, you what want. would be your obstacle of of choice? Like what? What do you think? What do you want to judge if you were to judge candidates? to be a retainer. If I was to judge candidates to become a retainer, I would probably... You just want to watch them fight? Do you want to, do you just want to see their combat prowess? Because you, you'd know better about how that looked than I do. I have no combat experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about... I will deal with that for those that go through. And you... All right, we'll do a combat day. So whenever, whenever your schedule lines up, we'll just have it be on your day. Okay. And before that, uh, you can do whatever you want for an interview or do what have you. Oh, I'll do whatever I want. Oh, I got some ideas. Okay. I've got about. I think I've got a ten a ten step plan. All right. Uh, what do you like to explain you know, what that is? You know, or... Have you ever watched? Do you ever have you ever watched HGTV? Yeah, I, I've seen some shows on HGTV. Okay, because I'm gonna pitch this to HGTV. Okay. And I want to see I want to see what they think about Evilise's next top judge. Uh. Or maybe I'll call it something short like the Retainer. You know what? That that might be better. That might uh, be more enticing, and might not completely put on blast that there are a bunch of uh, that there's this big old secret society that a lot of people know about. <laughs> Is it a secret? I, I didn't. It doesn't really feel like a secret. I mean, a random we don't, farmer just ran up to me yelling, "Judge, judge! I need a judge." I mean, we we don't advertise it per se, but the Recreation Accords like it said that there needed to be a judge, a group of judges. Like, yeah, do you know? That how seems many kind of official. Have, that doesn't sound like a secret do society. You know many, do you know how many people have actually read the Recreation Accords? You know how long the Recreation Safety Accords are? No one reads that. Uh, I mean, it maybe just like history, you know? Maybe people getting their doctorates in law do, but it's way too long for any regular person. People, people are too busy for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
People got to race That's chocobos. Fair. People got to play King's Gambit. People got to triple the ah, So you've already figured out most of my, uh, you figured out most of my contests of skill, haven't you? Whoa, no. Oh, mm. All right, right, what's the rest of it? the ratings up. You're going to have them play card games and board games? Maybe. Maybe not. Depends on what skills I need. You just want I someone to play... I think combat skills are pretty important. You just want them to play games with you, don't you? What? Well, hold... Okay. Hear me out. Listen. Listen. How long are you hanging out with your retainers? Fair point. How long are you on an, on an airship with your retainers looking at each other? Yeah, you have a fair point there. Okay, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good test of skill. That's why, it's, that's why the swimsuit competition part of it is going to be very important. I'm sorry, the what? The what? The swimsuit? Competition yeah. part? Yeah. <laughs> song cuts and he gets angry eyebrows. <laughs> uh, I was about to gang. You make a mockery <laughs> of our position. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I don't think I want to, you know what, uh, if I say anything, it will spoil the surprise of, of, uh, some of the contestants. I won't say anything further. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't, un unless you're planning on having a pool party, I don't see why you need a swimsuit com competition, but, uh. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it is your tryouts. You are the judge. I will be in charge of combat prowess day. Uh, just send me an email. And you want, of you when want real that's combat? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, either on like a test live combat or... Uh, or or with monsters. Yeah. Or they could be together. I'll let you decide. Okay, not like fake, con like kayfabe, right? You don't. We can right. Run that too. Right. We see some beautiful combat. Yeah, we're trying to figure out like uh, who would compliment you on the battlefield if you ever need to, because sometimes you need to. Very handy. You He's see like that? slowly backing out. He of is. The <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh, for a while now, he has been, like, looking away, trying to, like, find an exit to the conversation, uh, and slowly... Bob Bray, have you ever done any wrestling? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, uh, I've, I've wrestled enemies before, but not... No, like the, the fake stuff, the fun, no. stuff that's fun to watch. And not no, no, I, ha I haven't done any of that, do you... Have you done that? It's kind of looking side to side. <laughs> please, please, let me tell you all about... Oh. Lucha. <laughs> I'll let him go. Well, uh, just l l let me know when the combat day is. Or I'll be in Rabbit Ass. Or just send me an email. I got, I got, I got things I gotta do. Uh, I'll. Uh... Uh, all right. Good, good to see you, Law Brad. Thank, thank you for the nice things you said too at, at the yeah. beginning. I'm, yeah, yeah. Hope I'm doing you proud. Yeah, you're. Uh, you, after what I've seen today, I think you might have what it takes to be a judge. That was just too kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Not even on the same panel anymore. <laughs> He's phasing through the walls. He's. 
<laughs> He's out of there. Like a cat trying to like <laughs> being clearly watched but still trying to get away. <laughs> yes. Yep. Alright. <sighs> well now do I no one better get in my way. I want to go see my ship, Krista. I, I haven't gone to... I've been hearing her all day in my head, but I haven't gone to see her. All right. Well, I think you should be allowed to... I want to go home. I think you should be allowed to see Krista. So let's uh, take you to Krista. How is she doing? Is she all healed up? Uh, yeah, she is doing fantastic. Let's see. Oh, I forgot that. And I forgot that. But that's not for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, those are from Boat 1 and 3. I forgot about those. Franklin, Franklin, I did it. I did a flip. You just missed it. Equals. Krista. <laughs> Aww. Krista did I don't, a flip. I, I don't believe you, Krista. No one was piloting you. Krista, do you want to do a flip? We can do a flip. Let's. We should do a flip. So I've got... I got to do two things tonight. Okay. I gotta go to Kinko's. I got to make a flyer <laughs> and I got to do a quick canvassing campaign across all of Ivalice. Uh That's going to take way too much time, but What do you mean? To do a Oh wait, you could just go to the adventuring guild. If I want to get adventurers. That's true. Which I do. And I gotta do it. Uh, yeah, you're right. I gotta go talk to HGTV. I've gotta give them the pitch. That's, yeah. That is true. You gotta... You do have to go to HGTV to give them the pitch. All right. Because that's the only way they can give me uh, approximately two cameramen that just kind of stand around doing whatever. Or so I've seen. <laughs> you're not wrong. There's the map's capture. Alright, so from Stonesop to Rabinaster, yep. it's about 1,300 kilometers. So mark that off on your sheet. I will just get a notepad out. Because this is going to be a lot of math. I'm going to expend some fuel today. There it is. Let's get those three out of the scene. And bring... Uh, do you want to go as yourself or as a judge? I'll go as a judge. I'll, I'll put the, the thing on. Okay. In that case, let me grab your judge. No. Uh, your judgeliness. Hmm? Ah, I see you changed the music. Oh. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, this is important for now. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, so you walk into the tavern, uh, into the main hunting guild hall in Ravenaster, and you can see that there's some people around. Uh, 
All right, who's who's in charge of HGTV program and running? Looking for an agent. Ooh, I'm an agent. I could help you out. <laughs> and Angel great, over great, to you. Great, great, great. Uh, hey, well, I'm Judge Homeroot, and uh, I'm here to pitch a, a HGTV special. Yeah? So, I need a retainer. Okay. And I want to find and contract who the best retainer in the world could be across Evil East. And I want to have a contest that every week has new challenges where we vote off people to see if they, they become the next new judge. Or a oh. judge's retainer. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Okay. Someone, if anything happens to me, I need to find out who can, who can take my spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I... And that would be my retainer. So I, I need a new, uh, you know. Have you ever seen The Apprentice? No. Uh, have you ever seen America's Next Top Model? N no, what's in America? <laughs> well, this is going to make the next couple questions hard then. <laughs> uh, so... No, no American you... Idol? Have you ever seen The Voice? So we have been doing uh, a lot of experimentation on TV on uh, what you can do. So we've been making a lot of different stuff. Uh, you know what? Why don't, why don't you notice? I'm a big fan. Why don't I, I just take you to uh, one of our producers? But, well, if it's not too much trouble. I'll see if she is free. And she is going to take you up the stairs. Instead of being on TV, I could be a guy that makes what's on TV. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Practically like making a movie. Practically. And she is going to come to the door here, and she's going to knock on it. Uh, excuse me, uh, Miss Dorothy, there is someone here that has a new program, a new TV program idea. Oh, uh, let him in, let him in. And, uh, she opens the door for you to enter. Oh, wow, thank, thank you for taking the time out. Yeah, was no it, problem. Uh, producer Dorothy, was it? Yes. Yes, it was. Hi, I'm, I'm Judge Homaru. I'm, uh, I, I'm one of the judges. Uh, uh, what we do, you, you probably know what we do. We go around Evil East protecting the world from uh, destruction and devastation. It's a very scary, dangerous job where we need to be like the, the toughest, the strongest people at Evil East. Um, I'm not. I am of the weakest of Evil East, and uh, I'm looking to hire a retainer. Oh! And I wanted to pull, I wanted to pull all of Evil East to see who would be the best person to be my retainer and help save the not only save the world, but also to be a friend. Oh, so like someone that I could rely on to. To help make sure that I'm safe, that I can rely on to help make sure that the world is safe, and someone that I can rely on to make sure that we're always having a good time. Oh, so you want like a commercial spot uh, for a call out? Well, I was thinking of putting together a weekly show where I we start with a large pool of contestants and we slowly. Or, or we quickly even whittle down to find out who the top characters, the top best people are. Okay. And then week after week, we can uh, we can have voting done by the people, or I could vote on it. I could I could say you, or I could have the other judges come on screen and 
have them say, yeah, this is this should be your new retainer. Okay. All and right. then slowly we eliminate them all until there's just the last couple and the people who are viewing the show will be like, oh, I like that guy or I like this guy. And then they'll all, you know, there'll be some good water cooler conversations about how we protect Ivalice, you know? Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I just thought it was more exciting than me just, you know, grabbing some guy and being like, hey, you protect the world, you know? Yeah, that that's very exciting. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, I'm picturing it now. The next evolution oh. judge's retainer. I... Next evolution judge's retainer. How does that sound? I think the acronym would be like N-I-J-R, which kind of has some weird feel to it. Yeah, that, that sounds more like a personality acronym. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, if it was if it was Eva Lisa's next top judge, then yeah, you'd be you'd be literally searching for the INTJ in the group, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize that that's what that would be Jesus. an acronym for. That's funny. <laughs> Do you think you have what it takes to be Ivelisse's next top judge? Are they uh, trying to be a judge or a retainer, though? Oh, yeah, retainer. Wait. Yeah. Ju uh, or judge's guy. That's how you just... It's judge's guy. Uh, or you could just call it the retainer. Brilliant. Love it. I don't know if you heard the snap. But uh, she definitely <laughs> snaps. Didn't. Oh, well, ah, she snaps and points at you. Yes, love it. There Fantastic. It All right. Uh, do you want to keep the whole uh, armor and everything on when uh, throughout the show? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I do have to keep it on. That's... It's part of my thing. Okay. So maybe uh, it would help if we had some other people to, you know, be faces on the show, be a host or something. Yeah, we could definitely have a host for this. Uh, is there anyone that you would like to see be the host? Oh, wait, I haven't, I haven't thought about this. Who would be a good host of a television show? <laughs> I could think of one person, but I don't know if he would like it. Well, I know someone who <laughs> might like to do this, but who are you thinking of? Oh. Uh, could we pull Big Mondo? I could see if we can. I've worked with him in the past. Oh, you have? Uh huh. Oh well, we definitely can. Uh, I was gonna see if Brian Landmark was available, but yeah, Brian Landmark. Yeah, Brian Landmark. Oh dang! I know. Was have you ever met Coda? No, I haven't. He's a great host. Yeah. Not that not that we need a tryout for the try tryout show, you know. We could we could figure this out. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh we could definitely get uh We can see if uh the Did you not see Big Mondo's newest movie with Coda in it? You didn't you didn't see that? It's huge. I actually haven't yet. Big grab. I think I'm, grab. I, I've heard of it. I'm not the biggest on B-rated flicks, but that, honestly, my roommate yeah. liked it. So there's that. They're just usually not my thing. Okay. I mean, yeah. I just I, from my adventures, you know, I happen to know some actors. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay. Just, it, it's a weird thing. It comes with the job in a weird way. That's fair. That's fair. I, I'd absolutely believe it. Uh, yeah, politics means, you know, civilians and, and, and world leaders at the same time. And churches? Can, can we film on the church grounds? Uh, which church grounds? Yeah, uh, any of them? I mean, I guess we can. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm okay. thinking of an amazing race type week, <laughs> but the amazing race happens in Le Mans. Oh no. <laughs> you want to go all the way to Le Mans? <laughs> we split everyone into teams. We send them out. Hope they come back. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, since you're going to be I'm taking the... them to the Deadlands, you know, I'm not, I'm not a sicko, or I could be. You could be. I mean, this is Ravenaster, uh, surrounded by a desert. You, you, we do have the Sand Seas off to the west. Oh. It's oh, true. yeah. No, I, I've got some ideas. Okay. Could also go up to Arcades. Or uh, go to <laughs> Zatir. Yeah, just anywhere that the other boats are as well. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. No, this this is good. How long uh, into the future do you want this show to be? Because we should probably uh, shoot a promo and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was hoping it would be, be able to start working towards it for next season. Oh, well, perfect. Uh, in that case, uh, let me have my assistant... Uh, take you out to the courtyard uh, so Judges we can... Do contracts? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to write up contracts. Uh, while I'm doing so, uh, do you want some uh, pictures taken uh, for uh, yep. uh, promotion and whatnot? Yep, yep, yep. Got to hit my poses and all that. All right. Uh, As you do. All right. Uh, please follow my uh, assistant, who is going to wave you at the door, and she'll take you out to the courtyard. Okay. And so... Wow, with HGTV underneath this, I, we could find so many people. It, yeah, the uh, producer all of was. Evil is involved. You could probably get all of Evilise involved. Maybe I don't know. There's a good chance. Hmm. Hope it doesn't start any wars or escalate wars. What, the, this doesn't escalate any wars? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it, hopefully this doesn't escalate any wars. Hopefully no wars are escalated in the near future. Or at least at the season finale for any of the other boats. That'd be quite a shame. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking about all the different tasks I could have uh, uh, people do for any given session. 
figure out who front runners are and yeah yeah gotta figure out what makes a good retainer what makes a good retainer what makes a good retainer for you specifically yep mm -hmm. because a good retainer for someone like uh emmett selk uh he would be looking for someone who someone basic probably yeah someone who's just focused on min maxing damage and doesn't talk back or maybe to someone who's really good at writing that too to write up all his reports yeah oh yeah he definitely has his retainers doing absolutely every single one of his communication if he wasn't so bloodthirsty he probably wouldn't even be out on the field it's true just have them do it all uh yeah okay so I've been brought outside. Yeah. This is sure. where they're going to put two in my skull because they're sick of my song and dance. They're going to take my idea, use it somewhere else, put me down. No, no, no. The, she takes out a camera and, start, and uh, tells you to oh, pose. Right. Uh, all right, then. Uh, hmm. What's the Judge Halmarut pose for 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 You know what? It's got to be you he puts he puts the number 1 in the air looking for looking for number 1 in Evilise. The you know the pointing up stands for I. Looks like Evilise. Perfect. Also means, you know. Mhm. Mm uh she That's takes a one. picture of that. Walks around a little bit, takes more pictures as you keep your uh, number one pointed up in the air. And then she gives you a sword as like, all right, uh, pretend as if you're going to swing one of those dummies. Don't actually do it. I don't know. You're, you're a judge, so you're probably really strong. Uh, this is just for posing. Yeah, I don't want to break your, your dummies. <laughs> I wouldn't want to break any of these, you know. Exactly. Exactly. So, what pose with the sword and the dummies do you want? Pose with the sword and the dummies. Um, well, without the dummies, I would want the sword. I'd, I'd do the, like, you know, bastion, a, a, a paladin-esque sword in the ground in front of me, you know. With it in both hands. Oh, perfect. She's going to take several pictures of that. You know, Defender of Evilies. That's what we do here, right? Yeah. We're on your side. Something like that. Yeah, perfect. And then uh, at the dummies, uh, I'd probably do like a, a pull the sword way back and like have an arm stretched out in front like come on join us or something you know yeah she's gonna take several pictures of that and i'm that now i'm having fun so i'm gonna, I'm gonna swing it i'm gonna swing it at the dummy all right uh we'll just give it some give us some practice swings what is your sword skill what sword skill the the skill called swords how many points do you got on that? Zero. All right. Give me an agility check. Would, would an 87 cut it? Uh, 87 won't cut anything, but... And you, fe you feel a little awkward, a little silly uh, swinging around the sword. You've never yeah. swing it. <laughs> Swinging swords is not your forte, and uh, if this was like videotaped, would be very goofy. Uh, she is going to be taking lots of pictures to try and find the the one picture in that that looks decent, decent enough for uh -oh. uh, promotion. 
Do, do you want me to get my actual weapons out? Well, uh, what what kind of weapon? What yeah? What kind of weapon do you have? Do you have like a giant hammer? Do you have like a chainsaw, spear kind of thing? What kind of weapons do judges have? No oh, better. Yeah. I got. I got triangles. And I pull out. I pull out my measures, and equip one in each hand. Eh. And that. Uh, uh, um, those are measures. That's right. Aren't you looking for support? What do you mean? Well, well, those are measures. Right. Yeah, the, and do you... Okay, all, all right. Uh, uh, pose, pose with them. Do do what you would normally do. Roll me a measure skill check. <laughs> gonna, uh, I'm gonna give them like the the like CEO pose, like have a measure in my hand, like it's the whole world is in my hand, kind of thing. Yeah. Evil lease in one hand, a measure in the other. Uh, measure skill, measure skill. It's gonna be my instrument. Oh yeah, uh, instrument, sorry. Uh, yeah, you look confident with them. You know what you're doing. You are very familiar with how to swing these measures around. Uh, you look significantly less goofy as you did with, uh, with the sword. <laughs> and she's just like, oh. all right, yeah, I guess this works. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised you're this good with measures. Most people, like, aren't. Like, they learn enough to do the yo-yo <laughs> tricks, and that's basically it. <laughs> like they do they learn how to walk the dog well I've had to you know survive out there you know, I wouldn't say I'm like most of the other judges that's fair yummy <laughs> yummy what you got there Got a little lasagna. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I had a little pizza earlier tonight, so yeah, I get it. It's really good. It was getting cold. So I'm like, I gotta eat at least a little bit of it while it's hot. That's fair. That's fair. Well, luckily, we only have like 10 ish minutes, maybe less. Okay. All right. And, uh. Okay. Yeah, so she took a couple of pictures, and you were able to go back up to the producer's office, where she will tell you, where she will slap down a giant form that has a bunch of places. Open to... wide pose. That's the main. For uh, to put down your signature. Hmm. My old Judge Haunt. Hancock. Yep. Your old Judge Hancock. Uh, do you sign it as Judge Homeroot or as Franklin? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, god damn it. No, he totally signs it as Franklin. He's <laughs> just so used to writing it on receipts. Oh, that'd be so funny. You gotta tip the bard, you know? Yep. Doesn't even think twice. Just <laughs> big old 
F on there, and the rest of it's kind of just scribbles. Yep. Amazing. All right. You have several places to sign on the dotted line, and uh, once you're done, F-S. she... Yes. She uh, takes back the papers, makes a copy, and hands you a big folder with all of them. All right, here's your copies. I have mine, and uh, we will reach out to Big Mondo. If we can't get Big Mondo, we'll get uh, Brian Landmark. And if they're both busy, we'll talk to Coda. Yeah, if they're both busy, we'll talk to Coda. And uh, I did a little bit of research, uh, and I found that Coda... uh, the boat one best boat is currently in Arcady, so it would not take that long for them to get here. And that'd be fantastic. That's weird that you would know that. No, I guess it's not that weird. No, that's still a little weird. Wow, that was fast. Got it. Well, this is the hunting guild. They they do Right. Uh so we know the whereabouts hunt, of hunting yeah. parties <clears throat> when they check in into yep. cities. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, huh. maybe they've left by now, but uh, that check-in was, uh, according to the timestamp, uh, 45 minutes ago, so I don't think they did. Fresh. It's very fresh. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. What's left? You want me to start canvassing flyers? Because I'm really excited. I want to go tell everybody. Oh, we can worry about all of that. That's uh, my job is making sure that... Uh, my job is making sure that How about infrastructure for tryouts? Kind of stuff. Yeah. How do you, you want to handle tryouts for... When there's, you know, a bunch of people trying out for this to make it look like all of Evil East is involved? Uh, diegetically or non-diegetically? Are you asking GM Both. or? <laughs> do we want to do we want to pull from the different locales? Uh, yeah, let's pull from different locales. Uh, and then you get me involved when we're down to like you know the top thirty or something like that. Yes, yes. Once we're down to a uh, top group, we will let you know and we'll get you involved. All right, I'll get the other judges on standby. I've got a couple already lined up that uh, want to help find the new retainer. Oh, uh, perfect. That's great to hear. They will uh, will will have a poll festivities about it, I guess. Um. <laughs> Yeah. I <laughs> Then what do I got to do? Oh no, I got to make a judge report about this. Yeah, you do. You got to write a judge report. Reporting that the, this judge is going to be advertising about the judges. Yeah. It's going to be great. And it's going to say this was Judge Laha Brea's great idea. <laughs> Do you want to uh, make that report now? Uh, no, we'll do it later. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do it right this second. Okay, because if you did, it's, it's also it's got to come with the uh, it's got to come with the press release attached too. Okay, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> if you did, uh, I had more news for Franklin. Yeah, I do yeah. want to get back to Krista and end the season there. Okay. So I do want to do some Krista stuff before I head out. All right, well, we do got a limited time before that, so let's head on back to Krista. Whew. What a day. What a day. My man is so low. Just from all the things that we did today. 
between all the activities we got involved with and made. You did do a lot. Krista, we gotta do that flip we promised you. I'm gonna get out of the judge clothes. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And uh, I gotta check the emails. Oh, uh, there's a new report by the... Already? Oh, yeah. There's a new open report that is started by the retainer for Judge Pastorot. Uh, a uh, Iokis Brotherhood Church in Bervania has uh, been exploded been uh what there has been a terrorist attack in Bervania and as much as the retainer the for, details uh luckily no one was injured there was apparently a uh a fire uh an explosive that went off inside the church that did not harm anyone and everyone left shortly afterwards uh, more explosives were detonated within the church which... no sign of people involved is there a sign of monsters involved like how was nobody hurt inside this church uh, the first explosion did not have uh the first explosion uh, seemed to have malfunctioned, and so it was just lights and Shitty sounds. It was very bad. Well, and then the building exploded entirely. Pretty good terrorist. Uh, Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works. So there was the explosion, and uh, the. Uh, House Glavados is blaming House Margrace for this act. Yeah, but of course they would. They always do. I, they are at several rows, so yeah, they mm -hmm. would. Uh, other report. There is a report that uh, looks like it was sent uh, during the con... Is it during? During the convocation? No, uh, report after. during the convocation? Ballsy. This would be after the convocation. There was a stone uh, discovered by the retainers of Judge Navrialis and uh, Judge... Was it Logriff? I think. Uh, they found an orosite in the marshes of Revencrag. This orosite had a symbol on it and apparently whispers. Oh. Hell. It is currently in the uh, hands of the retainer for Judge Nabrialis and will be returned to the judge to be dealt with. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Do they have any signs on what Esper could be attached to it? That Esper is Hoshmal. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hoshmal's the chill one, as we all know. Uh, <laughs> sure. And... We're always saying this about Hoshmal. Ah, yes. Belias the Gigas and Hoshmal the Chill. Yeah. The Chill. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to remember what uh, what his what his sign is. Uh, Tauros. I believe. I believe. Hushmal the Taurus. Oh, uh, the title he has? Yeah. Oh, gosh. 
I don't remember. Aspers. Hushmo the ruler. Uh oh. Uh, bringer of order. And uh, Leo, not Taurus. I might have got things mixed up. I don't about uh, zodiac symbols and whatnot. Yikes! E yikes! <laughs> no, he's a uh, Leo. Yeah, yeah, he's Leo. Uh, I accidentally said Taurus. His head for... features feline traits. Yeah, I accidentally said uh, Taurus for uh, the uh, uh, boat one and gave them that symbol. Oops. So uh, I'm going to have to retcon that. Uh... <laughs> you gave him the wrong glyph. I gave them the wrong glyph. But it's fine. It's now in the hands of... Uh, retainers. Hashmalim is the Jewish second order of angels. As Hashmal in Hebrew means electricity. Oh, is that all of the page that you're going to read? Oof. Well, I guess I could go on. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not saying that the rest, that more information on the page is relevant. Uh, that would be silly. Uh, but, yeah. And uh, you don't notice that uh, there were individuals that helped out the retainers discover that stone you could probably assume that by the descriptions it was boat one best boat <laughs> hmm <laughs> gotta have to make a call wait they called me wait hold on a second <laughs> that's true now it all makes sense! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah, they called you. That doesn't seem so random anymore, does it? No. No. They didn't know what the Taurus emblem meant. They didn't know what the Taurus glyph even meant. I mean, they it was... They were clearly looking at the Leo. I mean, either I don't <laughs> remember what information you gave them about the yeah, Taurus glyph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the information you gave them would be different since. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> yeah. Well. That's that's the news, huh? That's the news. Uh, Ashmal in play, and uh, and and uh, someone just really hating on the religious order of uh, of the Glabados of the Iocus Brotherhood. Oh, the I that's right, the Iocus Brotherhood. Who would? Yeah, within Bravania. So you know. If they blew up any other church outside of a warring country. Right, right, naturally. Then, you know, might have been fine. But they uh, did well. do it within uh, within the capital of a warring faction. As so, you do. As you do. Well, is there anything you want to do before uh, we end off Season 6 of Steal the Skies? Yes, I'm taking this bird up to the sky, and we're doing a flip. Hooray! Congratulations on doing Send a flip. Send it for one big spin. One big spin. 
And that will end off Steal the Skies for Season 6. Yeah, if I do the vehicles check for this flip, can, uh, can I, uh, can I, if I succeed at it, can I see Krista do a little 360 on the, on the screen? You know what? Yeah. I have fulfilled my purpose and done a flip. Yes. All systems permanently shutting down. Yeah, give, give me your vehicle. Oh, this is perfectly. No, 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 wait, wait. Slow down. <laughs> All right, you got it. Oh, that's a 95 right there. How'd I do? Uh, 95. Not good. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... No, it's okay. No, it's okay. This is why I, have, I saved my last good fortune. I guess you have a point. Then roll the I good almost fortune. died today so that I could have one less so I could have one more good fortune for today just in case. Okay, yeah. And I think this is the time. We this... don't destroy Krista on impact. I don't nosedive my my beautiful ship. Yep. <laughs> 88. <laughs> you don't nosedive it does... and crash your ship. <laughs> but uh you I also... pull up I, I start I start pulling upward to do to like rise and do a, a flip and then the uh the all the systems start saying stall on them because I'm clearly stalling the airship because I do not know what I am doing quite yet. And so I freak out, I panic, and I just level the thing and I just go I alright, alright, sorry. Flip <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the flip. 